We're starting off a new vlog. I have been moseying around my apartment all day. It's been pouring rain. And, well, it's not pouring rain, but it's been drizzling on and off in Boston all day. So I'm like, all right, let me just get my life together. And I figured as I'm doing that, I'll start off my vlog. But basically just doing dishes, cleaning out my fridge, there's an airplane taking off, it is very loud. Started my day off with some boiled egg, some lemon water, and a little bit of coffee. I'm really, really trying to be on top of drinking more water because I just know that it's like a constant battle for me, staying hydrated because constantly being dehydrated from flying and it's summertime now, so it's warmer outside. I don't know, I just, I haven't been drinking water like I need to be and I've been guzzling cold brew coffee, which is dehydrating. So staying hydrated can ease anxiety. I've been really trying hard to manage my anxiety lately, but drinking lemon water, I've been taking these supplements, which actually have been helping a lot, curcumin and saffron for anxiety. And I've also been trying to focus on my gut health and I'm still taking the complete gut health pre and pro, pre, pro and postbiotic by Beekeepers Naturals. I've really been enjoying this one. Once I'm finished with that, I'll switch back over to just thrive probiotic probiotics are so essential when managing anxiety and depression because serotonin comes from your gut if you have a messed up gut it's just going to increase anxiety and i know the cold brew isn't helping but i've been needing a little kick in the butt in the mornings i just got my july schedule today and we've got some interesting trips coming up i am so excited to share them with you guys i am so excited to blog them vlog them but enough about the future today i'm doing you guessed it one flight to san francisco i have been doing so many san franciscos lately one flight to san francisco 30 hour layover one flight back i was going to get rid of this layover and ended up keeping it in the long run because it just it fit my schedule kind of perfectly plus i just love san francisco so it's kind of hard for me to give that one up i was so bummed about not having spinach to make a smoothie this morning but then i remembered i have a freezer full of smoothies from daily harvest so Thank God for that. I still have a link with Daily Harvest. I'll leave that down below. I have a code as well. I'll put this on the screen once I find it because I completely forgot what it is, but here it is. And I'm gonna do the tart cherry and raspberry. This one has cauliflower, tart cherry, fig, raspberry, blueberry. Berries as well help with depression and anxiety. I'm on the up. I was not doing well in my last vlog. Hey guys, just a note from the editor. I ended up deleting that vlog. I was supposed to be editing it right now. And going over the vlog, you can tell in the vlog that I was not in a good place. And I don't wanna bring anyone else's energy down. So I decided, and I myself was not enjoying editing it at all. And it was putting me in a pretty bad mood. Editing a vlog where I am literally going through depression and forcing everything content wise. To me, that's just not worth putting up. I'd rather be able to talk about my situation with more of a clear head about how I'm doing mental health wise. And yeah, I, so that vlog doesn't exist. It's not about the vlog that was previously posted, what I'm referring to. Basically, I tried to film an at-home vlog and I was going through some pretty serious depression during that time. And like I'm saying here, I am a lot better now and I'm on the up, it's a process, it ebbs and flows, but that's basically what I'm talking about. I just wanted to let y'all know instead of, having some of y'all who watch my content regularly be like, wait, I don't remember her talking about that in the last vlog. So that's what I mean, that's what I'm talking about. But I'm doing a lot better now. Oh my God, there's so many berries in this. It's so easy. You just fill this up. I'm gonna do a little extra cause I'm gonna put some protein powder. I was like not even getting out of the bed until the middle of the day last week. And I haven't been in a state of depression like that in a few years. You know, I've gone through my phases of being upset, but, or about like a specific event or something. But the last time I felt this way was like winter of 2019, 2020, where it's just like absolutely no motivation to do anything. No motivation to work out, no motivation to even take care of yourself in any way. No motivation to go to work. No motivation to be creative. Those of you who struggle with this kind of stuff, you get it. But the first step is actually taking care of yourself. Hygiene and health. That is what I'm focusing on right now in the past few days and it truly is helping a lot. I've upped my protein, that always helps me. I'm taking these supplements. I actually am reducing my caffeine. I was drinking more before and I'm trying to stay hydrated and getting in vitamins through fruits and vegetables. And it's made a significant difference. I'm also trying to focus on my sleep. I was becoming very dependent on 
melatonin and it was absolutely wreaking havoc and causing restless leg syndrome for me which i didn't even know that was a thing that melatonin causes restless leg syndrome it like worsens it anyway and that's something i i would get every now and then like as a teenager as a kid and i think that was from lack of when i was going through phases of not exercising or eating too much sugar it rarely happens as an adult but that week of depression horrible anyway that last night was my first night without any restless leg syndrome thank so we're on the up guys we're on the up tomorrow we'll be in san francisco all day and i will take you guys with me but let me make the smoothie and get ready for work all right we're ready it's still nasty out but it's gonna be 60 and cloudy in san francisco early summer in san francisco for you but I'm drinking my berry smoothie. I'm just gonna put a lid on this and take it with me and drink it on the airplane. This is so basic, but I'm bringing chicken breast, like seasoned chicken breast and an Olipop with me. That's it. There's food on the plane from our business class. And so I'm thinking like, maybe I'll eat something left over from there if I'm still hungry. I had boiled eggs this morning. That smoothie is thick. This is like t almost, this is like a piece and a half of chicken breast. I think I'll be fine. I also have a protein bar and some nuts. Oh, and I brought my magnesium because magnesium helps, like I said, with restless leg syndrome. I threw all of that in my bag. All right, time to request my Uber. One flight all the way over to San Francisco. Let's go. San Francisco. I am going to quickly put on some, just like some sunscreen, a little bit of makeup, some eye drops. And I'm gonna go get a coffee. I think I'm gonna go, I don't know. I, I wanna go to Cafe Revelé. That's like my go-to. Even though last time I went to Phil's Coffee, but Cafe Revelé is usually my go-to. It's like 50 degrees outside. So I've been putting off going outside today or this morning anyway, but it is beginning to warm up. I don't exactly know everything that I wanna do other than get coffee and walk today. I'm trying to budget. I'm trying to like really save money. I feel I've been like kind of on that budget-ish grind lately. I'm just gonna brush up the eyebrows today. This is my Refi brow gel. It was absolutely freezing in my hotel room last night. And I kept like, you know when it, you're like already half asleep, and but you're so uncomfortable and you're too tired to get up and do anything about the situation, you're hoping you'll just like either get used to it or fall asleep, but yet the misery is keeping you awake. That was me last night. <laughs> and so I finally got up and changed it, but it didn't really change. So I just like dealt with it, but I did sleep okay. I'm actually here for two nights. I don't remember if I said that or not. So I'm here all day today and then we leave in the morning. My band time is at 6.20 in the morning. I want a little bit of highlighter. Brighten myself up. Not wearing anything special. I'm just wearing this little white shirt I got from Brandy Melville forever ago. I love it though. It's just such a simple little like button up Henley. And then I have these Amazon leggings that I love. They are on my Amazon storefront. I find them to be very like, they're very compressive and they're very flattering. All right. We added some additions to the fit. We have this little fleece jacket, which I was planning on wearing already, but also my little Saqqara Life hat. Eat clean, play dirty, which reminds me, I need to order more of my Saqqara Life mineral beauty drops. I absolutely love those things in my water, that stuff in my water. I'm really craving, do I want matcha or do I want coffee? I think it's a coffee day. I'm in my follicular phase which means the luteal phase, my period is over. That's usually when I need matcha. I'm in my follicular phase now, which means more energy, better for cardio, better for, better for being more hyper, I guess. And I can handle caffeine better during my follicular phase. Ladies, look up cycle syncing. It will change your life and it will help you figure out things. I was drinking coffee during my luteal phase and during my period and it was making my cramps 10 times worse and my anxiety through the roof. It is not good to be drinking coffee for me personally with my hormones during that time, but during follicular and ovulation phase, coffee, caffeine, I can handle so much better. So I think I'm gonna have a coffee today. A cappuccino sounds so good.
these sunglasses are crazy. When they're on, it the screen, the little viewfinder is completely black. When they're off, I can see it clear as day. I changed, I'm just wearing this vintage polo. Vintage Ralph Lauren polo, it's actually from the 90s. I love finding vintage Ralph Lauren clothes because the quality is so good and it's 100% cotton, it's just so nice. But anyway, I decided this is like a light shirt. I was getting hot in the pink sweater that I was wearing walking around and this is like just right because every now and then like the sun goes away and the breeze kicks up and I'm it's like ooh, a little chilly but overall I was like sweating out there um I decided I want to look cute so I'm gonna put on these earrings that market that west coast craft market was the cutest thing ever um <sighs> terrible terrible time to be trying to be on a strict budget because I wanted to buy absolutely everything in there. Oh my goodness. There were companies there that I have followed on Instagram for years and to be able to see the products in person, it was so cool. Oh my God, there were these cookies. I kind of wish I got one. The cookies were $6, but they were big. They were like, I don't know, thick. They just looked incredible. Part of me just wants to go back and get one again. I might walk back over in that direction. Although the Whole Foods here has incredible cookies as well. Oh my god, I went into, there's a new, new-ish, it's like a year old, I hadn't seen it yet, vintage clothing store here on Polk Street. It's called Moose and the Goose or Moose Goose or something. There was a leather jacket in there. The quality was insane. Everything in their store is curated from the 90s. The quality is insane. It was a western jacket with tassels. I almost don't even want to talk about it in case someone who lives here has it or, or is not has it, wants it, and is going to go get it. I told myself if it is here next month when I come back, if I come back, I'm going to get it. <sighs> I just, I can't justify spending the money and I know that like right now it's impulse, but I've been thinking about that dang jacket all day long. It is so cute. The quality was insane. It, it's very much like the kind of vibes it gave was like Depeche Mode, Personal Jesus music video, kind of. It was. It's very like Western tassels, like with the little silver, little buckle things on them. I don't know, it's just so good. And I want it so bad. It's so hard to find something good quality like that for as cheap as it was. Cause usually they are multiple, multiple hundreds of dollars. This one was a hundred dollars, but I was like, Vera, you're saving money. You can't just buy a hundred dollar jacket right now. You are on a tight budget. Just cause you walk into a store, you can't just spend, um, just like, I was back and forth in my mind. Even the girl was like, I can hold it for you. Um, if you want to think about it today. And I actually had her hold it for me. And then I came back and I was like, just, you can put it back on the rack. I was like, I want to, I want it so bad, but maybe if it's here next month, we'll see. But I need to be good. I don't know. I'm second guessing these earrings now. I'm like, this feels dramatic. I feel like I'm not going to wear them. They feel a little too flashy today. I'm not, I'm not feeling that unless, because I kind of don't want to wear my hair up anymore. I put my hair back in my Saqqara life hat. It's not even sunny out. Why am I gonna wear sunglasses? It's like the sun is coming and going. I'm just gonna continue to wear this. What made me come back earlier is the fact that one, I was extremely thirsty. No, I was already extremely thirsty, but I was just gonna get a water somewhere along the way of my walk. My headphones died. The, the battery life on my AirPods are horrible horrible they're old airpods i need eventually to get new ones i want the i want the pros or the airpod max whatever they are the over the ear ones i want the baby blue ones more than anything but i no i need to be chill like i've been saying for now we'll use what i have but these last like an hour and i like to go on really long walks and these don't last at all the only downside about this shirt is that it doesn't have any pockets which almost makes me want to put on my sweater again. And I know it's going to get chilly again. Look at me. I'm changing my outfit again. Eventually, I'm going to need to eat. The empanada was incredible. Oh my god, the empanada was so good. My chimichurri sauce, though, the wind blew it away. <laughs> and I had to pay extra for that. I got to have my chimichurri sauce with half of my empanada. And then the wind blew the rest away. So... That's stuff. But I did stop to get a water, my Mountain Valley water. Heavenly Soap Company, that's actually the one thing that I bought while I was out because I forgot my lip balm while I was walking and my lips felt really dry. So I got this peppermint lip balm that's really nice. I really like it from the Heavenly Soap Company, San Francisco. Okay guys, I'm getting FOMO watching everyone walk outside and enjoy the day. So I'm gonna go back out.
my battery is low. So hopefully this doesn't just die. But I feel like I need to go on a little bit of a rant. And I'm sure a lot of y'all will understand and agree. I think most people are beginning to agree. One, for starters, San Francisco is just expensive. It's an expensive city. Everyone knows that who knows San Francisco. It is a wildly expensive city. I, I've talked in my vlogs about San Francisco before. I feel like this place is dystopia. It's one of my, but ironically, it's one of my favorite cities. You just have like extreme poverty and homelessness and drug addiction. Like it's bad on the streets here in certain areas. And it's kind of spread out throughout the whole city now, but it's particularly bad, like the Tenderloin district and whatnot. But so there's that. And then there's the fact that everything is insanely expensive. I just went to Blue Barn and I'm not bashing Blue Barn. I know people need to make a living. People need to pay rent for their spots in the city, pay for their supplies, their food, their employees, whatever, I get it. The sandwiches I already knew were expensive, but you will not believe how much money I spent on this. It blows my mind on two turkey sandwiches. They're good quality sandwiches. They're delicious. Two turkey sandwiches and it's a bowl cup. It's not a big bowl. It's like literally in between the size of a bowl and a cup of tomato soup, and it's not like it's any kind of cr crazy fancy soup with like a protein in it, no, it's tomato soup. $50, $50. I went in there for the turkey sandwich. I know I'm jumping all over. I went in there for the turkey sandwich and I was like, okay, the truffle turkey sandwich because it's delicious. I'm like, maybe I should try something new. I saw another sandwich. It was the club sandwich. I was like, that looks really good too. And I couldn't decide between the two. And I was like, you know what? I'll get one for tonight and I'm gonna need food for tomorrow anyway, so I'll get one for tomorrow. And I knew like their pricey sandwiches for turkey sandwiches, they're like 15 and $16. Really with taxes and the actual change that's on the price, it's 16 50, 15 50. So really it's like 17 and $18. But I also got the soup. The soup is $9. That's expensive tomato soup. Now, this isn't a sit down restaurant either. This is a, you give them your order, they give you a little number, you go to a table, they drop off the food, but that's it. They drop off the food and you clean up the table yourself. It's one of those places you clean up all your dishes, you clean up everything, you da da da. You get your own water, you get your, you even go and get your own utensils. You do literally everything. You serve yourself. They drop the food off and leave. They don't even say anything. The two times I've gone, they didn't even say anything. They just like dropped it off, walked away. Not doing anything at nothing. When you pay, now when I, she rang up the two sandwiches and the soup, I was taken aback when I saw $46 and some change. I was like, huh, $46? Like, I, and, and in my head, I'm like, I, I expected it to be like 30 something or maybe 40 tops. It was like 46. And I'm like, okay, I don't know how much sales tax is in, in San Francisco. I since looked it up, it's 8%. Uh, percent. It's eight, almost 9%. And then it asks you, it automatically chooses for you 20% tip. 20% tip when you do everything by yourself. I, I was like, there's no way I'm tipping almost $10, $9 when I'm doing it all myself. I used to be in the service industry. I was a waitress. I was a hostess and then a waitress for five years. That's crazy. I was like, and then of course the option comes up and it's the cashier standing there staring at you like with a smile on your face, like, oh, just make a selection and, and sign or whatever. And I'm looking at it like, I'm not tipping $10 for this on top of it already being $46 for two sandwiches and soup. I did a custom amount and I put in $4. I feel like that's fair for somewhere where I'm doing everything by myself. I'm, I really don't wanna be cheap, but at the same time, like, 20% tip, if you, if an establishment is that like that, where the people aren't actually serving you, but they're reliant on you tipping them, the employer is not paying their staff enough. Plain and simple. There is a wine shop near my house that I love, but it's the same situation. You go in there, it's like a little bodega. You buy a few things, you take it to the cash register, and it asks the same thing. It asks, it's like 15, 20, 25 are the three options, percent tip. When I went into a store, took things off a shelf, brought it to the cashier, you want me to leave a 20% tip for that? That's crazy. <laughs> like, where is this coming from? This is like a newer thing too. And it's so wild, the perspective of traveling in Europe where employees get paid enough at restaurants and whatnot 
they're not reliant on tips as they as it should be and I have no problem tipping I always tip at least 20% when I go out at least and if the service is really good I tip more I'm just like this food is already so expensive and it's funny because online it's their old menu from like a couple years ago they jacked the prices up on the sandwiches by three to four dollars that's a big jump to go up with inflation. Three to four dollars on a sandwich, that's a huge jump. And then the tip, I'm just like, whoa, I, I can't. So sorry for that rant, but, and I have to say, I almost didn't enjoy the food as much because I was just like, what? It's embarrassing. And it's embarrassing for like tourists who come from other countries to visit us and they see that. It's one thing where it's like, I used to get so frustrated when I was a waitress and we would have people from, Canada or Europe or whatever come and then I would work so hard and I wouldn't make any money. I would end up losing money on tables because we have to give a portion of our tips to the bartenders making the drinks and the kitchen staff. So it's like, cool, I just took money out of my own pocket to serve you. There would be situations like that when I'd have people who just straight up didn't tip or they would, cause they don't know or I don't know what, but they'd be like, oh, here you go. Thinking they're doing a big favor for you and leaving $2 on the table when it's like a $70 bill. And you're like, <laughs> that's one thing. And it's always important to look up tipping courtesy before you visit a country. <laughs> but this new stuff with the tipping cashiers when all they did was ring up your items. This is crazy. You punched numbers, you punched buttons on a screen and yet I'm supposed to hand over $10 to you for that? We're going, it's like we're going backwards. Progress, being progressive would mean moving towards employees being paid enough. And here I am trying to save money, but it's like, okay, I didn't go out to eat with my crew. I didn't go out and have dinner and drinks. And then I went to Whole Foods, which we all, everyone knows Whole Foods is expensive. Whole Foods is expensive, whole paycheck is what one of my friends used to call it. But I spent $30 there and I literally got some beverages, cookies and an apple, two apples. The layover thing, that is what is really hard for me to navigate because it's not like I can just, I can meal prep, I can bring stuff from home. Sometimes that's a gamble too because you bring your stuff, you put it in the hotel fridge, you wake up in the morning, it's frozen or it wasn't cold enough that's a struggle flight attendants deal with all the time is there's nothing worse than when you have a salad or something like that packed and then you put it in the fridge overnight not knowing that it's going to literally freeze it and it will be rock hard frozen the next day and now your food is ruined yeah plus you just want fresh food sometimes and part of the joy of layovers is finding food out san francisco just is not the place to do that necessarily if you're on a budget <laughs> rant over let's get into this whole food whole foods haul for real mountain valley water i know expensive bougie water but i love mountain valley water it's delicious glass bottles are better for you they're better for the planet and it just tastes better too on top of it and i only got one of those two apples two organic honey crisp apples for myself tomorrow i wanted a juice for myself tomorrow i kind of want to taste it now but this is ginger pineapple lemon it's called tropical zing i was craving something with pineapple that's very good that will be good in the morning i got my sweet melon agua bonita drink this is so good two brown butter chocolate chip cookies i had these last time i was here well i had one and it was delicious so i got one for me for tonight and one for tomorrow i saw this coffee in case for whatever reason the coffee line is too long in the morning tomorrow or in case I just simply don't have time for whatever reason. So I got a backup coffee and this is a new brand, Nguyen, Nguyen, yeah, Nguyen. This is a coffee, Vietnamese coffee with sweetened condensed milk. So I'm excited to try that. And that's, that's those are the only ingredients, cold brew coffee, sweetened condensed milk. Oh, it does say some of the gums, oh well, but it just looked interesting. And then of course, they didn't have the little ones, so I got a bigger one and I'm just gonna take it home tomorrow. So this makes me feel a little bit better that I spent $30 on this at Whole Foods because I'm gonna take this home, but still like $30 for that, for all that. My little walk just cost me $70. It's tough out here. It, this is a constant conversation between me and um, my like coworkers and my friends who are in the industry, it, it gets hard with layovers. It's like, you want, to, you want to enjoy your life. You want to enjoy yourself. You don't want to just like be cooped up in your hotel room and only eating stuff that you cooked 
days ago, a day ago, two days ago, whatever, and maybe weren't the best at like keeping it cold all the time and you're eating something that's just not as good, not as fresh. It, it just gets hard. It's like, okay, so you wanna like, you want fresh food, you want something warm, you want something like just cooked or whatever, like you would have at home, but yet you have to spend so much money to do so. Okay, you can go eat fast food. That's not good for you. It's gonna make you miserable too on top of it. You're not gonna feel good. So it's like a never ending battle depending on each individual's expensive expenses. I completely support myself. I pay all my own bills with my job as a flight attendant and I do have a little bit of money that I get from YouTube and TikTok. Primarily, my money comes from my flight attendant job. It gets tough living in one of the most expensive cities in the country, Boston, and then laying over and traveling to some of the most expensive cities and to want to live well and live somewhere safe and be able to feed yourself quality healthy foods i have to work a lot a lot and i'm not complaining i'm so grateful i am so grateful for the job that i have for the home that i have the fact that i get to have a cool job like this and i get to have access to nice foods like this i'm very grateful for that but you do work for it I got really triggered once someone once commented saying, it was a very, very ignorant comment saying to me that I must be a trust fund baby. I must have a trust fund. Cause how else could a female, if I was a man, no one, they wouldn't have said that. If I was a man with this vlog and a job, like living how I live, whatever, I guarantee this person would not have said it. It was a woman who said it too. But they were like, I don't understand how you live the way you live you must have a trust fund. No, I just work very hard. A trust fund, that's hilarious. I grew up with a single mom, we had food stamps. We lived in project housing on and off. No, I don't have a trust fund. And I'm not saying my childhood was bad either. My childhood had peaks and valleys, that's for sure. But my friend Evan too, I remember someone saying something similar about him and it's like, <laughs> or like, oh, it must be nice to live off your parents or something like that. And Evan works so much, he works so much. I know Evan watches these and his sister. Hi guys. But look at me just, <laughs> just casually drinking milk as I'm on a ramp. And it's just so frustrating. And I remember it pissed me off when that person said that about Evan because I'm like, how dare you make an assumption when you see someone living well, you just assume that they're not working for it. That is yourself and your own laziness projected on someone else. Like you have, it was someone with the same job. You don't know what bills someone does or doesn't have and you don't know how much someone is working. Anyway, I am ranting so much. Oh my God, it says 21 minutes. Guys, I'm sorry. I am, I'm in one of those moods, I guess. I need to put some of this stuff in the fridge and this $1 million sandwich in the fridge. And I'm gonna just wind down and kind of relax this evening and I'm gonna try to edit uh, like an at-home vlog for y'all and get that up as fast as I can. All right guys, it's time for me to go. 6.15, van picks up, 6.20. So I need to be downstairs. I did not sleep great last night. I don't know why, I went to bed too late and it took me a minute to fall asleep and that's kind of why. I didn't really pay attention to the clock last night while I was editing, which isn't good. I needed to be in bed at like nine and I didn't get in bed until after 11. And didn't fall asleep until around midnight. So I think I slept a little over, barely over five hours, but it's okay, it's just one flight back. Gonna get home, I'll talk to y'all there. I don't know how this happened, but I have the biggest pimple on my face. These eye patches are from Pacifica. I got them from Whole Foods. They're pretty cute. They're like cute and that's it. They don't really like get the whole area that I need them to get because of the awkward way that they're shaped. I actually got back yesterday from San Francisco and then I just wanted to kind of spend the evening outside, walk around, chill out at home. I'm watching 1923. I'm absolutely obsessed with 1923. Yellowstone is one of my favorite TV shows. 1923 is 
honestly just as good it's so good so i've been enjoying that and then i slept the deepest i think i've ever slept no i've slept i slept the deepest i think i've slept in like over a year last night i was out like a rock it was like my body was sunken into the bed i slept a sl slept a solid eight and a half hours but it was like deep rest i needed that i think i know i needed that not i think i know i took magnesium the generic brand from whole foods magnesium fizz and then i did the symbiotica magnesium spray and i rubbed it on the bottom of my feet because they say that's the quickest absorption i was completely conked out but guys i'm gonna end this vlog here i know it's already a long vlog Thank you for coming with me to San Francisco. Please subscribe if you want to come with me on my future layovers and excursions. Please say hello in the comments if you are new here. And it would mean the world to me if you also just gave this video a little thumbs up because it really supports my channel. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Balanced Flyer. I love y'all and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.